Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you what is connected architecture. It's very simple, what all the things that we have done till now is all connected architecture. Now what do you mean by connected architecture and why do I call this as connected architecture? It is very simple, connected means keeping the connection open with the database as long as we perform the operations. I'll double click this button and let's have a look at the code that we wrote till now. So you full screen. Yeah. What is that I'm doing here? I'm opening the connection and I'm performing all my operations and then I'm closing the connection. So as long as I perform all my operations, I need to keep the connection open. Perform the operations and close the connection. That is the reason I call it as connected architecture. And my SQL data reader works on connected architecture. And SQL data reader object is read only and forward only. That means once if I read the data from the data reader then my data reader will become empty there will be no more data in my data reader say for example I'll go to the default page and I'll add one more grid view grid view 2 what I want is I want to assign the same thing same data data reader to grid view 2 that means whatever the data I get in data reader I have assigned it to grid view 1 now I want to reassign the same data to grid view 2 as well that means I want it to display the output on both the grid views and let's see what happens just for the difference I'm going to give different UIs for both the grid view for first I'll select as classic and for second I'll select as professional uh, or I'll just go for colorful now initially I have given data reader to classic and I'm trying to give the same data reader to colorful grid view as well let's see what it says I'll simply select department education and I'll say read it is reading only in classic grid view my colorful grid view is empty that means whatever I have read from the data reader it has been forwarded Now I'll simply go to the code and I'll comment out the first data source assignment to the grid view. Save this and execute it. That means that I haven't read the data reader in first grid. I'm trying to read it in the second grid. me select the education department and I'll click on read and I should see it here the data in second grid so this grid it is filling in the initial page load whereas this grid gets filled in my button click so what is that I can do I can read the data from the data reader only once that's why I call data reader as read only and forward only and once I have read the data from the data reader I cannot edit or delete the data from the data reader if I want to perform edit and delete operations I need to write separate update and delete queries for example we saw how we bounded the data to the drop down list so I am reading the records one after the other and I am using it I cannot edit the record here I cannot change the value of the record 
so it is read only and forward only for example I cannot say dr2 of name equals to xxx or d name that is nothing but dr2 dot of d name equals to xxx I cannot do that property or indexer is read only it is read only forward only and stream of bytes so whatever I get the data it will be in stream of bytes so this is all about your connected architecture nothing complex nothing confusing very simple I perform all the operations by keeping the connection open once the operations are done I'll close the connection that's why I call it as connected architecture and my SQL data reader works on connected architecture thank you very much